America's Rise as a World Power The early 1900s were a time of great change for the United States in multiple ways. Firstly, in 1912, the Democratic Party won the presidential election because there was a split in the Republican Party, causing them each to not get enough votes in the popular vote or the Electoral College, leading to the presidency of Woodrow Wilson. Wilson demonstrated moral diplomacy, but his policy towards Mexico showed that this moral diplomacy had limits. Another great change at this time is that the country emerged as a major world power. There were a few events that showed this. Spanish-American War. 1898, the United States went to war with Spain over control of Cuba and other territories in the Caribbean. The U.S. victory in this conflict established the United States as a major imperial power and marked its emergence as a world power. Annexation of Hawaii. In 1898, the United States annexed Hawaii, which had been an independent kingdom. This move gave the United States a strategic position in the Pacific and expanded its influence in the region. Open Door Policy In 1899, the United States announced its Open Door Policy, which called for equal access to trade and investment in China. This policy helped to establish the United States as a major player in international affairs. Roosevelt Corollary in 1904, President Theodore Roosevelt announced the Roosevelt Corollary, which asserted the United States' right to intervene in Latin American countries to maintain stability and protect American interests. This policy was seen as an assertion of American power in the Western Hemisphere. Panama Canal In 1914, the United States completed construction of the Panama Canal, which linked the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and gave the United States a major strategic advantage in global trade and military affairs. World War I When World War I broke out in Europe in 1914, the United States initially remained neutral. However, by 1917, the United States had entered the war on the side of the Allies after the interception of the Zimmerman telegram, which was sent by Germany to Mexico offering support in recovering Mexican territory lost to America during the Mexican-American Wars, marking its emergence as a major player in global affairs. The Roaring Twenties The 1920s, also known as the Roaring Twenties, was a decade of significant change for the United States marked by economic growth, technological innovation, and cultural transformation. Economic Boom The 1920s saw a period of economic growth and prosperity fueled by the expansion of industry and the development of new consumer goods. Cultural Shifts the 1920s was a time of significant cultural transformation, marked by the rise of jazz music, flapper fashion, and a general sense of liberation and experimentation. Technological Advances The 1920s saw significant advances in technology, including the development of the automobile, radio, and motion pictures. Immigration Restrictions The 1920s saw the passage of laws restricting immigration to the United States after a sudden acceleration of Spanish immigrants in 1910 due to the Mexican Revolution, forcing many to flee across the border. These restrictions reflected a growing sense of nativism and anti-immigrant sentiment. Prohibition The 1920s saw the passage of Prohibition, which outlawed the production and sale of alcohol in the United States, leading to the rise of organized crime and bootlegging. Political Conservatism the politics of the 1920s were marked by a conservative backlash against the social and cultural changes of the area, with a focus on traditional values and a suspicion of immigrants, minorities, and radicals. Religion Fundamentalists campaigned against teaching evolution in the public schools, leading to the Scopes trial and drawing the attention of the entire country to the small town of Dayton, Tennessee. Aggressive fundamentalist sects, such as the Churches of Christ, the Pentecostals, and Jehovah's Witness, grew rapidly. Many of those who came to the city in their 1920s brought their religious beliefs with them and found new outlets for them, such as the Church of the Foursquare Gospel in Los Angeles. The politics of the 1920s reflected these changes with a shift towards conservatism and a focus on traditional values and policies. Republican presidents such as Warren G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge, and Herbert Hoover championed pro-business policies and limited government intervention in the economy. At the same time, the conservative backlash against social and cultural change led to a resurgence of nativism, xenophobia, and anti-radical sentiment, reflected in the rise of groups such as the Ku Klux Klan. The Great Depression 
The Great Depression was a severe economic crisis that began in the United States in 1929 and lasted throughout the 1930s. The causes of the Great Depression included Stock Market Crash The stock market crash of 1929 is often cited as the immediate cause of the Great Depression, as it led to widespread panic and the collapse of the financial system. Overproduction and Overconsumption The 1920s saw a period of economic growth fueled by overproduction and mass consumption, an example of this is the automobile industry, which became oversaturated and saw a major downturn during this time. However, by the end of the decade, demand for goods and services began to decline, leading to an economic downturn. Bank failures. The collapse of the banking system, triggered by the stock market crash, led to widespread bank failures, which in turn caused a significant reduction in lending and investment. Protectionism. In response to the economic crisis, many countries enacted protectionist trade policies, leading to a significant reduction in global trade and further exacerbating the economic downturn. The effects of the Depression were Unemployment The Great Depression led to widespread unemployment as businesses closed and people were laid off in large numbers. By 1933, unemployment had reached 25% in the United States. Poverty the economic crisis also led to widespread poverty as people struggled to make ends meet and provide for their families. Social unrest. The Great Depression led to social unrest with protests and demonstrations taking place across the United States and around the world. Political change. The economic crisis led to significant political change as people began to question the role of government in the economy and the need for social welfare programs. The New Deal a series of social and economic reforms enacted by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, was one such response to the crisis. The American government and society reacted to the economic hardships of the Great Depression in various ways, including implementing policies and programs to alleviate poverty, create jobs, and stimulate economic growth. One of the first major actions taken by the government was the establishment of the New Deal, a series of programs and policies introduced by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The New Deal aimed to provide relief, recovery, and reform for those affected by the Great Depression. The programs included the creation of the Civilian Conservation Corps, CCC, which provided jobs for unemployed young men. The Works Progress Administration, WPA, which created jobs in construction and infrastructure, and the Social Security Act, which established a system of retirement benefits for workers. In addition to the New Deal, the government also implemented monetary policies to stabilize the economy. For example, the Federal Reserve lowered interest rates to encourage borrowing and investment, and the government increased public spending to stimulate demand and create jobs. At the societal level, many Americans banded together to provide support and assistance to those in need. Charitable organizations such as the Red Cross and the Salvation Army provided food and shelter to the homeless, while community groups organized soup kitchens and other forms of relief. Labor unions also played a role in advocating for workers' rights and better working conditions.